this is Lucy and welcome to a Fallout 76 Building 101 episode. If you can hear the wind, it's because we are up in the mountains in the Savage Divide. You may not know, but there is a path up here which comes off this road here. There is a path that winds up all the way into the mountains and then goes down to the train yard. So I wanted to build a mountain retreat so thought I would find a place up near this path. Oops. <laughs> Oh. The neighbours can be a bit challenging, unfortunately. <laughs> it says I'm hidden. So if you come up to the path, up the path to the brow of the hill, I found a little flat spot up here. Just out of interest, there is on this bluff here, there is actually a lead resource. I didn't find this until after I had built my camp. But it's not really an ideal building spot. But you could, I suppose, build a house hanging off the cliff. <laughs> anyway. I'm, I met I met Graham on the path the other day. It seems to be part of his route. So, so I came up here, and I found this nice little flat spot here. It's not very big, but it's flat enough to build what I wanted to build. So I will show you the camp. So this is the front of the cabin. Obviously I've double walled and wallpapered. You could do it single walled, you could make it scrappy even. We have this offset. Which gives us this nice sort of open plan archway into the kitchen. I have had to use a stair frame, although with the help of a friend I have figured out a way to put a regular ladder in a 2x2 two two building and I will uh, show you that soon. This is the kitchen, obviously I have, it's a small kitchen, I have a built-in cooker. sink, dining area with a view, this is the bathroom, pretty basic really, we have a small upstairs, with some space for some storage, kind of tried to go for mountain I've never used these before I've had them for a while and part of the reason is I didn't realize they were yellow when they were lit up I actually much prefer them lit up it gives a sort of nice warm glow at night as well to be be fair though I could probably do without the Nuka Cola logo on them <laughs> if you go out the back I I like to have my workbenches outside. You could build a shed if you wanted. I just find it much easier to use them. Down here we have a deck. With barbecue, musical instruments, some nice views. And somebody will come along and repair these walls, I'm sure. I don't often put a vendor up on my Building 101 um, camps. 
sometimes but not always so I don't often get visitors unless they're coming to see my camp because they recognize my gamer tag. I really wanted to be able to put these up without the roof but unfortunately these lights will only attach to a roof they won't attach to walls or between pillars so it's a bit annoying so I've kind of compromised by having a glass roof so that it doesn't block the light and yes this tree was a giant pain in the butt <laughs> I will quickly show you where we are on the map because the camp wasn't visible when I last showed the map. You can come up the path from down the bottom rather than by the train yard. So I think that covers it. I will now show you how to build it. Right, let's make a start. I've put one foundation down. It is a little bit of a tricky spot. You might have to adjust your foundations. I'm using this striped floor so I can check that the foundations are all going in the same direction. Now I've got a problem here for the porch, <laughs> so that, oh, I'll do this. To create the um, offset, we're going to use a regular ladder, a half upper floor, and another ladder. We will attach a foundation to that and you now have foundations that are offset by half. We don't actually want it there, we want it over here. I'm going to change that to that. This build is deceptively complicated, unfortunately. There are going to be a lot of offset walls. Because of that, and because we'll be moving foundations, I am going to create a save point for these foundations. So that we don't lose... Oops! Oh, great. <laughs> That's easily remedied. We want to save these positions in case we lose them dur during the build. Now the first thing we're going to do, and this might seem strange, but the first thing we're going to do is put the glass windows at the top in. It's because some of the walls are attached to the square and some of them are attached to this rectangular piece. Because I'm using glass walls which are single, I do not have to double wall this. If you don't have the glass walls and you want to put one of the pieces one of the half pieces with windows in, you will need to double wall this and to do that you will need to move the foundations down so that they match these. Right, I will add the glass walls Right, now to leave these hanging what we're going to have to do is flame trap them and then we can remove the lower walls. To get up that high we are going to need a portable toilet, two stash boxes, a 
and a flamer trap. Right, one stash box, flamer trap, stash box on top of stash box, stash box on top of toilet. Now you could in this instance, and I have done this once before, is just actually build a temporary platform up there. But And the other problem you're going to have is getting up there. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. It does help if you have marsupial in a jetpack. Right, what this means is now, now you're going to leave the glass at the top alone. This one you can scrap. This one you can scrap, you can just store these. So you have two floating glass walls now. Now these half walls are offset because the walls underneath are attached to this piece. And for this, you have to put the double walls in for this piece before you put these in. If you don't, these will not go in. So to get, to get this double wall in, we're going to move that floor up, move it back, move this floor up, put it back. Because... Um, There is also going to be a piece of double half wall here. We need to put temporary walls in the middle. And this is one of the reasons I have this over here. Just in case, because... <laughs> Whoops. We need to move this one up here, this one to here. Going to create a double wall here. There. Put these back onto the square. Now I am going to um, flame a trap this one now you can do all of them now if you want you will need your toilet contraption again which i've actually left here we don't need that many stash boxes <laughs> going to flame a trap you don't have the flame a trap. I would probably suggest you don't build this if you're not that advanced in the game, or maybe you just like building and you haven't done a lot of questing. The flame a trap plan is available from questing at Abby's bunker at the top of the mire. I'm going to put this away for now. And, um,. I think you have to have completed Rose Rose's quest at Top of the World. To get this wall off, I do actually need to flame a trap that one. So I was a bit quick with my storage. I was worried my flame a trap was going to break. Flame a traps break after a few uses. If you store it, and get it out again it will be repaired but if you actually get to the point where it is broken you will have to use resources to fix it
So I'm going to remove this wall and we now have this floating. You can repair that. It may get damaged. <laughs> but once we've built this, we can do a repair all. So now you have this floating, which creates the arch. I am going to put the porch on so that we can double wall the outside of the house. There we go. And just double wall all the way around this square. We need a double wall for the bathroom here. And a double wall for the kitchen. So that is a temporary floor for that. Round here. And that is temporary so it can come off. I used um, the glass pieces for these walls. You could just put double walled regular windows in if you don't have the glass. I used the halves because the whole piece has that metal bar at the bottom, which I don't like. We're creating two wedges, so we'll start with this side. If you're double walling a triangular piece, you need to use the brick, but you only need to use the first part needs to be brick. It's because of the way it breaks. I believe you can use the metal as well. This piece will need a half wall before we put the triangle on. And then basically go around and flame a trap all of these triangular pieces and this half wall. Once you flame trapped it, it should look like this. So we are going to go around and double wall everything. On the triangles, you don't need to use um, the brick for the second piece. It can be anything. And you can, in fact, change the brick after you've repaired it so that it matches and you get the same trim. You can simply now repair all. If you can find your camp widget. And now you have something that looks like this. I am going to quickly go round and convert these into the correct pieces so flat walls and put wallpaper on. 
So you have two windows in the main room, a window in the kitchen and a window in the bathroom. I put it on the side so I could get the shower in. I use two contrasting wallpapers on the inside and the outside, which are this, this one for the main room and the breeze block for the extension kitchen bathroom extension but you can use whatever you want so it's a nice bright sunny day thanks to fallout worlds and if you haven't noticed in the last few days the wallpaper glitch is back Yes, we get an update and yeah, it won't take that wallpaper because it thinks it's already there. So you have to swap it to something else or take it off. And when someone visits your camp, they will see different pieces of wallpaper missing. The next thing we need to do is put the roofs on and you you may have noticed that I have not put the stairs in. The stairs are completely optional <laughs> but the problem with the staircases, the stair frames, is once you put them in, as I found out yesterday when I first started recording this video, you literally, if you've missed something off, you cannot take them out without pretty much destroying half of the build so I always leave them till last and I will the thing I missed yesterday was actually this wall <laughs> so we are going to put the roofs on now you may notice you have a problem getting this roof on this one went on okay, but for some reason double walled over a, well, I don't know why, to be honest. You cannot get this roof on. Roofs only snap to, at the bottom to walls, that's probably why this one went on, and to the sides. If you ever have this problem, there is a really quick and easy trick. Just build up out here. The roof will now snap to that. Huh. Hang on a sec. Oh, it's the wrong way around. <laughs> That's why. It's great that it's bright and sunny, but I'm actually struggling to see some things. The roof will now snap to this, and because... Because roofs snap to the sides, to each other, it will snap through there. And there. Then we can just take this one and all of these away. So we now have our roofs on. And I'm going to put the stair frame in. I am using the stair frame that has the ladder up against the wall. And I am just going to put two floors up. And swap the ladder out. For this one, no. <clears throat> Unfortunately, the Enclave helicopters seem to come. If you want, if you want um, nuclear key cards, they're always here, and they will stay here for a while because there is a cup. There are a couple of raiders and a turret down the bottom. So I will go kill the raiders and hopefully they will leave. 
I'll be right back. So the enclave are moving off to annoy someone else. <laughs> we also need to put roofs on this part. This is fairly straightforward. These will just go on because of the wall. The bathroom can be a bit of a pain. Can't move it any closer to me. Oh, I missed some wallpaper. Or wallpaper glitch again, probably. There we go. So that is pretty much it. Obviously, change the floors up to whatever you want. But this is the finished build. Although this looks, the reason I did this with the offsets, um, if you can see here, is because otherwise you had, I didn't like it. When I first built this house, the wall here went up to meet this roof and I thought it looked odd. Everyone told me it looked fine, but as you know, Lucy is a perfectionist. So <laughs> this is why we did all these offsets. But when you put wallpaper on, you can't actually see them. It looks fine. So, so if you're as, uh, you know, OCD as me, <laughs> you will end up with a building that looks like this. The deck was fairly straightforward. Um, well, I'm thinking of starting some beginners videos again. I'm always con I don't like this where it sticks out. So you may have to fiddle around with it till you get it in exactly the right place. You have to be careful here because of the rocks. Sometimes it won't let you put a piece through a rock. I also had a problem with this tree. See now this one won't go in. So just fiddle about <laughs> with it until you get there we go it's not perfect but to get the um frame on i used these walls and then flamer trap them. Because we are going to be flamer trapping these, you need to put the roof on first before you flamer trap them. Go round and flamer trap all of those walls. Then I used the barbed wire fences from the mole miners. Now these will not snap on over the frames. And I tried doing it the other way and if you put those in and flame trap them the walls won't go on. But you can just free place them. Yes, I spent far too long doing this. It's better to do it on the outside because if you do it on the inside, when you get to the corner, it will not place. There is just a little... There it is. You can sometimes get them to snap. Once you've got one in, you can snap. It does require very fine tune control. And just go around and do that. I won't bore you with watching me do that. <laughs> so I hope you like the build. I hope you like the house. It is a very cute little house. It is complicated, I'm afraid. 
you do not have to make it this complicated you could make a simpler version without the offset and then you probably wouldn't have as many <laughs> headaches but I really like the archway um, and all those offsets create this lovely archway it's just a shame it's kind of ruined by the stairs <laughs> or the stair frame pillar because it is not centered but I can live with that I have to live with that for the time being anyway so that is all from me today let me know what you think in the comments below thank you for watching